How's it going everybody? It's Dustin here. And today we're gonna go through the auction hall from the last video. So we'd ran out of time that day and didn't get to go through what we got. So it's been a couple days, been busy. So we're gonna get everything unloaded, except for the car, I'm gonna leave the car on the truck. But we're gonna go through all the goodies that we got tell you what we got what we paid for them and uh see if we got a good deal or not Okay, we got everything out of the car and off the truck. Uh, except for some stuff on the inside that just piddly stuff. Well, I can show it to you. It's what I call junk. I like getting it though. You can get it. You can buy rows of it for a dollar or two. So, that's some car hearts and that little deal there is pretty cool. But most of this stuff is like eBay items, books, old books. But I paid two bucks for all that stuff. I sold something out of it for two bucks. Then I sold something else out of it for two bucks. So I'm already ahead on that stuff. Uh, so let's go through the rest of it. Got a welder here. I bought the welder for the leads but I didn't pay enough attention to the leads because the insulation is crap. I mean, it's just breaking off. So, oh well. I bought the leads for the, I bought the leads to put on a Lincoln that we got six, eight months ago in an auction, but these aren't gonna work either. I paid 90 bucks for the welder and the leads, but when I thought the leads was were good, that was a steal. So we'll pull the welder apart here in a minute, get it ready to scrap. Should get our money back, but kind of annoying. I wanted the leads, that's why I got it, it was for the leads. I should have paid more attention. Um, the tripod, that was in that junk with two bucks. Got a wood rack. Paid five dollars for it, put on the back porch of her house. The old chainsaw. It's a steel OAS. Pretty cool looking old saw. Got compression. But honestly, I think I am just gonna use it more for put on a shelf for decoration than anything I might try and get it running but it's not like I would use it if I did so it's gonna be more for decoration $12.50 pretty cool decoration if I do decide to sell it I checked on eBay they fetch pretty good money on eBay so I uh, got an echo weed eater complete looks like a SRM 2660, I don't know. I don't know what go numbers. I got it cheap too. Um, sorry my voice is off, my allergies are killing me. Ragweed is out of control right now, so. Uh, got a bunch a little manis like cultivators. So, paid five bucks a piece for them. And I bought them because this one has got the kill switch and a good throttle cable that the one we fixed the other day needs. So I bought this one just for parts and the other two, I just got them both. It was kind of a, you had to take them all type of deal. But this one has got a really cool kickstand that my other one doesn't. So 
If I get 15 bucks in all of them, I'll pull the good parts off of them I need, put on mine, and then I'll have a kickstand and the throt the kill switch and all that stuff for 15 bucks, and you can't touch that for the parts. Then I'll take the rest of that crap halt to the uh, scrapyard. This, I think, it was a pretty good buy. It's a Coleman with a Briggs 8-horse cast iron sleeve motor. Good motor. It's a Coleman PowerMate 4000 a little generator. Paid 40 bucks for it. I'm sure it needs a tank cleaned out and a carburetor, just like they all do. But if we get it running and the generator works, that's a good deal. Uh, got a three-point arm, lift arm. Paid 10 bucks for it. I'll just take it to the next consignment auction. I ought to bring 100. Um, so, yeah. The wooden spindles over there, I got those for my mom. There's a hundred of them there, and they were 25 bucks, but th those are hers. So, all in all, I spent 175 on the Toyota, which I'm going to pull the wheels off of it, the catalytic converter. I need to do some checking. I don't think it's got a lithium-ion battery. And I don't think that's going to bring anything if I take it out. And it looks like it's going to be a little bit of trouble to get it out. But I don't think, I got to call the scrapyard. The batteries they buy are lead acid. So I don't know if they'll buy lithium ion or not. I'll have to check. Let me know what your scrapyard does. Do they buy lithium ion? Uh, and let's see. We'll go through the car. We'll look through it. It looked like there were some tools maybe in the trunk. I never even looked at it at the auction. Um, they just sold those classic cars. And they walked by this Prius and they started bidding on it. And it was only at 150 bucks. And I thought, well, shoot. I'm already here. I can buy this, take it to the scrapyard. It pays for all the rest of my stuff. So I bid 175 on it and we got her. So should be able to take everything off of it, scrap it out, and more than pay for all the rest of our stuff. Plus we got to scrap this welder out. But let's get the ladder. We're going to get in there and let's look through the car and see if we can find any other goodies. Well, hopefully there ain't no snakes living in here. There's a dollar. We'll take it. What we got here? Oh, we got a little miniature Torx and pre precision screwdriver set. That thing's brand new. Shoot ya. This thing even came with a title. God knows what was wrong with it. What is this? Some hybrid crap. What is all this? I don't know, but it looks like aluminum breakage. It's scrapyard. Some 
That nasty air mattress here. You ain't gonna mess with that. That pump though, it might work. See adapter. Okay, Let's see what we got in the trunk. A little socket set. Hey, test light. Plugs, tire plugs. More tire plugs. Back it goes. Flashlight. Broken test light. Looks like we got an extension cord. Jump starter. Just finding all kinds of stuff. Screwdriver. A little rough. No. No way. No way. No way. You gotta be kidding me. Wow. Like the batteries are dead. Wow. Fluke 87. Multimeter. That's a score. That's worth more than a car. That's crazy. Broken tow rope. Wow. Fluke eighty seven. Let's get some batteries. Throw in that. That's crazy. Extension cord, test light. We'll sit there. Maybe this works too, I don't know. We just got all kinds of good stuff out of that car, my God. I'm gonna look up what that 87's worth. Well, that Fluke 87 right there sells in the condition it's in right there for 175 on eBay all day. That's what we paid for the car. I can't believe that was in there. I can't believe no one looked in the trunk. It's awesome. Of course they could have, it was hidden underneath that deal. You just never know what you're gonna find in some of this stuff. I mean, 
those auction companies have so much crap to go through that they can't possibly go through everything. And uh, every once in a while, you hit a good score like this. I mean, it doesn't happen all the time, just like that welder. Hopefully, we can break even on the welder. But every once in a while, blind mice found the cheese, right? So, especially if it works. I'm sure it does. The battery's just bad. Fluke is top of the line, so. Let alone we found some other stuff, so I found some other tools, so. Yeah, couldn't be happier with that. So like I said, we'll strip this out somewhat. I, I'm not gonna get carried away stripping the car down. Like I said, I, I'll pull the wheels and tires off. I'll pull the catalytic converter off. And uh, I don't think, I don't think I'll get nothing for that battery. When they, when you recycle a battery, what they're buying is the lead and the, uh, Lithium ion batteries don't have it. From what I understand, I'm no battery, I'm no lithium ion battery expert. Let's look under the hood of this piece of crap. I could probably pull these cables out, but I'm not going through that much effort. We'll probably just do the converter and the wheels and tires. Yeah, converter's still on it. Let's tear this welder apart. Hopefully there's some good copper inside of it. Should be. It's old. Well, there it is. There's the guts of an old welder. We'll cut all the wire off of it, probably before we take it, but it's, they'll buy it as a, like electric motor because it's got steel in it. So between that and the leads, hopefully we get our money back on the welder. I should have paid a little more attention to the leads, so. I do want to put a little splash of gas in this generator and see if we can get it to do anything. Check the oil before we do anything. Oil's good. Looks pretty clean too. This thing don't look like it was ran very much. Most generators don't. gas tank is empty so hopefully that means somebody ran it out instead of uh, you know just it evaporated hopefully somebody ran it out well let's put a little gas in it see what happens should be plenty. I don't 
on. It's on choke. I did not expect that at all. That was God's honest first time I've ever pulled that cord. It's kind of weird though, because the uh, the linkage for the choke shows that it's on choke right there. But when you'd move it over to what should be a run, it felt like it was trying to choke it. Let's see, I'll show you. Turn it back on. you don't get in an auction 40 bucks four thousand coleman power mate four thousand electric generator so that uh, fuel line under there is weeping so we're gonna need to put a fuel line on it we'll go ahead and change the fuel filter but wow super score so if you're playing along here Paid 175 bucks for the car. Found a $175 fluke multimeter in the car. Let alone all the other tools. Um, we'll pull the aluminum wheels, the catalytic converter. I did a little checking last night. I think I can sell that lithium battery. So we'll pull it out. Take it. The welder. I just hope to break even on it. That was a bad move, on bad call on my part. I didn't pay enough attention the leads the insulation is trash so we'll scrap all that get our money back the generator we paid 40 bucks for all it is put gas in it so usually generators have a bad carburetor almost always have a bad carburetor unless someone was smart and either ran all the gas out or drained the gas out which it seems like that was the case here. And uh, they don't usually ever bring much at an auction if they can't hear them run. So that's why we got that one for 40 bucks. Uh, let's see here, what else we got over there? The wood ring, uh, that's gonna make Whitney happy. She wanted one last year and got that one for five bucks. Uh, that Echo, I'll get it, try and get it going. The steel chainsaw, it's just for looks. Then, like I said about the cultivators, they're parts for the other one. So, well, the next time we are going to be scrapping this stuff off. So tune back in and see what all this stuff brought at scrap. And um, I feel like we did pretty stinking good at the auction. So 
Let me know what your thoughts. What did I pay too much for? And what do you think about that generator running? Like I said, that's, you just gotta believe me, that is the first time I pulled that cord. No bull crap, nothing. So drop me a comment, let me know, and uh, we'll catch you on the next video. Thanks.